welcome everyone in this video lecture we will solve a gate 2022 question which is based on the inversion charge density calculation that is our q i n in a mos capacitor so in the question it is given a ideal an ideal mos capacitor having the p type substrate so this one is our p type substrate is there Okay, some oxide layer and metal is there and another strong inversion so I am giving some voltage say Vg so under some strong inversion that when it is our giving some get voltage that is our Pg so I am also writing the given thing when the get voltage is 2 volt the corresponding inversion charge density that is our Qi n is 2.2 micro coulomb per centimeter square okay and we have to assume the oxide capacitance per unit area is already given that is our 1.7 micro farad per centimeter square so we have to find the value of q i n okay inversion charge density for a get voltage per volt so the vg value will be now 4 volt so we have to find the Q in okay so for this case we have to find the inversion charge density for Vg for volt so in such question this one is our MOS capacitor okay you can see the MOS capacitor so before that I want to give you a very brief theory of it MOSFET okay then we can easily identify the concept okay so I am just making a a so this one we can say a enhancement type in MOSFET I am just making so I am writing so this one say P type substrate okay this one is our N plus region and this one is the get to source voltage and this one is say our drain region and this is say we have to source source region and this one is the metal part okay so in our question this one is given vg all these things so the inversion charge the inversion charge that is our q i n in this region q i n the inversion charge q i in is nothing but simply the capacitance that is our oxide capacitance into overdrive voltage vgs minus vt in case of mosfet this one we can say the overdrive voltage which is our get to source voltage minus threshold so this one is our minus vt so the q in the inversion charge density in this a area okay in this area will be somehow associated with COX oxide capacitance VGS minus VT. So we are just using the fundamental formula Q equals to CV. Now this one is our QI in and this one is our COX and this one is our VGS minus VT. Okay, so this is N more, so we, have, we can write VT and no, simply VT. Okay, but in our MOS capacitor. The formula can be modified as COX VG minus S. S is somehow grounded. So we can write it VG or better to write minus VT L. Then we have to write COX VG minus VT L or simply VT we can write because this S will be grounded. Okay, this point will be grounded. So it should be zero potential. So Q in is this one so this one we can say the important formula 
okay here we have to find this value so we have to utilize this concept of here 3g minus vt n or vt we can write so now in the question in the question it is clearly given the value of vg is 2 volt and qn is okay once again i am writing micro coulomb per centimeter square so just write qn or simply q i e n equals to c or x we can write vg minus vt n okay so vt n is unknown for this value okay so the q n value is given here 2.2 micro coulomb i am writing with all units then q in is given and cox value is already given so one can write 1.7 micro farad per centimeter square and vg for the first case vg we can say 2 minus vt n okay then after one can write 2 minus vt n okay we can write 2 minus vt n equals to 2.2 micro coulomb per centimeter square whole divided by 1.7 micro farad per centimeter square so this centimeter square centimeter square cancel now micro micro now this coulomb by farad term is there coulomb by farad okay so q equals to c v okay so v q by c so coulomb by some farad term so it will be volt okay so this will give the some voltage expression okay so one can also write one more line i want to add 2 minus 2.2 divided by 1.7 equals to vtn okay 2 i am just putting 2.2 by 1.7 in the left hand side in vtn so the vtn value will be 2 this decimal and decimal will be cancelled 22 by 17 so if we divide it will come 1.2 nine four okay and if we solve it will come seven zero six it should be in volt so this one is the threshold voltage calculation okay so vtn is now known to us so this cox is there so the unknown term is vtn so we have find the vtn the threshold voltage okay so this one is very important get to source minus vtn the overdrive voltage okay this one so now we have to find the value of what q i e n okay we have to find the value of q i n okay we have to find for the vg value 4 volt in the question it is already given we have to find q in for vg 4 volt so again we have to use the formula c o x vg minus vt n the oxide capacitance is constant so we have to write 1.7 microfarad per centimeter centimeter square vg value is 4 volt so better to write 4 minus vt n vt n is now known to us 0 0.6 volt okay so i am writing like that then we have to solve that 1.7 into we can write it 4 minus 0 0.706 and this unit if we solve the unit will be in micro coulomb micro coulomb per centimeter square okay this unit will be micro coulomb per centimeter square and if we solve by taking all these calculation it will come around 5.5998 microcoulomb per centimeter square 
so this one is all about this simple question but here we have to find the value of vtm okay first we have to find the value of vtm that we have to find here and then we have to use this concept concept q equals to cv then q in the charge near to the surface of the substrate is just oxide capacitor into overdrive voltage so vgs minus vt so we have to take care of this concept so this is all about this question so i am writing the final answer for the value of q in with screen pen 5.5998 so this one this is the answer for this question so thank you for watching this video